Hello and welcome to Wasp 3D Feature Tutorial. In the following tutorial, users will learn how to create a league table using tile and table text objects. We will also learn how to link the table with a data source and add a record move action for next set of data record. We begin by creating a uniform material and applying it to the background. Browse for a stadium texture and set it to texture layer 1. Change the channel values and convert it to grayscale. Next, take a tile object and a cube. Select the tile and change its properties from the parameters pool, shortcut key F4. Now, define cube as a tiling object. Users can take 2D or 3D shapes or AI files as a tiling object. We now change the height, width and depth as per design requirement. Next, we need to define the number of rows and columns and set the in-between spacing. Users can change row column size, either by moving the arrows, or right-clicking on arrow to set the percentage value. We have created reflective gray material. Let's add it to the tile. Now, we create a table text. Go to Parameters Pool and define Tile as the source object. We can change the text properties from Table Data. Please note, that we are just writing the sample text. The entire grid needs to be wired with a data source. Now, bring table text in front by translating the z-axis value. We go to variable sheet and select the UDT add-in. Browse and load the UDT. For this tutorial we are using a pre-made UDT. We have 10 rows of data per page hence, we change the rows per value to 10. Now, we can see the table data in the variable sheet. Select table text. We can wire the data with UDT from the parameters pool. To do so, select UDT and drop the table on grid to wire it. Users have an option to remove or swap the column wiring. We can click arrow buttons to get column list of the wired table. Right click on the grid to remove all wiring. Go to Table Definition tab to change text properties. Here, 
Column-wise properties can also be changed. Properties for the entire table text can be changed from the top panel. We can now preview the changes made. Group tile and table text. And create a header to complete the look. Now, that we have renamed the objects and placed them in a group, we can turn on the auto key and start animating. Here, we are animating translation and visibility in 20 frames. We have an animate tile option to give an overlap between the applied animation. Users can choose from different modes. Overlap values work between 0 to 1. Hit play to see the animation. Now, select the table text and go to parameters pool. Check on, wire tile to copy tile animation to table text. Now, add a pause infinite key. Do out animation and animate visibility of main group. Now, as our scene animation is complete, we will add a record move action for the next set of data in our database. Select and put tile and table text in a group, as we need to page text. Go to track view, shortcut key F7, and right click on data group and inherit parent off. This is because we don't want it to inherit pause from parent level. Put a time pause for the first set of data to stay on screen. Now, we go to last key, and put a record move action. Take UDT table as the target. Record move works as switch case. It gives success and failure report. If there is a modern data source, it will return a success trigger or else, trigger a failure. Users can add stacks of actions. 
In this case, if there is data in the UDT, we want the data group to play from zero. Else, play out template if it gets a failure command. Please note that the user cannot put record move action in either of such cases. We hit play to see the final output. As, there are only 20 records in the UDT, that means after page 2 animation, the template plays out.